that was closed. Now, we know a lot of them look like they're stone. Uh, obviously, Malstone had a bit to do with that, and I get the feeling... Yeah. They usually react that way to the little problems. Blood coming in a couple of years as well. You're talking about a bit of foreign money there, and the fact mm. that uh, the rival team in Brisbane is, of course, is sponsored by Power. Yes, that's right. Forex will be the sponsors of the, of the other team in Brisbane should they come in, and wouldn't surprise me to see Mal Meninga captaining that team. Uh, Eastern Suburbs now, of course, can't make the semi-finals, but the club has still enjoyed a pretty good resurgence under the coaching of uh, Mark Murray and the management of Jack Gibson. Uh, but their final of the season, Terry Hill, is now off the paddock yet again. Now, before he became a draft dodger, Terry Hill was just regarded as a nice suburb with too many trees. And he became well known and the most sought after player in the game. Finally, he agreed to play with Eastern Suburbs, we all know that. But now he's on the sideline yet again. Two weeks ago, Terry Hill was one of the form players in the competition. Now, he can't even walk to the corner store. Cut down by a heart virus that threatened to make his next game his last. Oh, I was devastated. I was shocked. I didn't just really, I said to myself, geez, I thought, you know, I knew I'd done something really bad. Didn't know it was this bad. Doctors have diagnosed Hill as having pericarditis, an inflammation of the heart. Rare within the rugby league world, but the severity of his illness could not have been ignored. Oh, I can die. You could have died? Well, if I, if I went out and played on the weekend, you know, I was a big chance of um, collapsing and dying. Is that what the doctor told you? Yes. For his first season in the big time, it has been one of mixed fortunes. Training with Wests, fighting the courts, playing with East, and now this. The draft at the beginning, I missed about six or seven matches, you know, and I was happy with my form during the year. And then now I'm going to you know, I'm gonna miss five, another five matches. Just hope, you know, train hard in the off-season and have a good year next year. For the usually outgoing Hill, the next few months will be spent at home, watching the final series from the comfort of his own lounge room. It may not have the same atmosphere as the football stadium, but it's a seat that he will have to get used to. Oh, I've got a couple of videos today. I'm just, just sitting down relaxing now, but um, I don't know, I feel like I want to go out and do something, but I just got to just take it easy. Kick, they're going to run it! The choice not to play for the remainder of the season was a difficult one. He had been happy with his form, but some friendly advice from his specialist made him realise exactly how lucky he was. He said, he, I know a lot of people that have died from it. He goes, it's very strange for football if you get it, but I'm just going to have to really take it easy, and I mean take it easy, he said, you know. And I had to, you know, like, a hand promise shape and you are guaranteed that I would take it easy. Well, we didn't know much about Terry Hill when he arrived at East, but I'll tell you something, the kid sure can play and it's to be hoped, John, he gets over this condition he's got because uh, I've got no doubt he'll go straight to the top in the game. Green and gold? Oh, for sure, within one or two years. Yeah, he's that fun. good, he's just got so much natural ability. That day I saw him play against the Bronco, uh, Broncos at, uh, at Lane Park. His fend is just unbelievable, that left hand fend. He's got a sort of an Ellery Hanley type fend, you know, he sort of runs to the right hand side of the field a lot and he, he's just got a great fend and uh, he's just a very powerful.